I'm going to take this off and put it on the pit guard. Do you understand? Uh -huh. But I need you to hold the guitar so we ain't, okay? We're going to transfer it over, bud. Here we go. Okay. Hold the guitar. There you go. Easy. Don't move now. This is very, very thin paper, bud. I don't want to ruin this. There's already a tear in it. Okay, okay, hold it right, right there. Let me do it, man. Let me do it. And you should look right there. We got a wrinkle in it right here, Charlie. I don't fucking like wrinkles, buddy. I don't care about the rest of the paper. All we care about is this part right here. Okay, there you go. I have now transferred the pit guard pattern over to the pit guard material, okay? Okay, now that we got that transferred over, we're gonna go ahead and uh, lightly cut the excess paper off that we don't want, okay? Without uh, gouging the other material. I personally don't care if we really fuck up this other material or not. I'm really not a fan of, uh, you know, Gibson cream white fucking pit guards, but that's all I had. And since I'm a broke dog, just like you are probably, I can't just go out and buy this shit, you know, just because I want to change colors. So we're going to go ahead and use what we got. I asked for cream white, and they send me this fucking uh, yellow, you know, fucking shit. But it should look good on the guitar. And uh, one more thing. We will be painting this guitar, so make sure that you stick through us with us all the way through this whole video set so you can learn how to customize your guitar. Now, you can see the pick guard is taking, taking very well uh, uh, shape, okay? Now you can see what it's gonna look like. Okay, we might have to trim this edge up as we go because like I said, the guitar has beveled edges and this might be a little too long, but I'd rather have it a little too long Okay, I'm sorry. I'd rather have it a little too long than too short. Do you see what I'm saying? Because then we'd have to take that pattern, we'd have to remake it and all this other shit and we don't want to do that. Okay, what I got here now, I'm sure you at home are going to use something different. Okay, but I got an air saw. This is a paint and body shop, so this is an air saw. It's just like a jigsaw. Okay, you can actually use a scroll saw on that. That would actually be the best thing to do is use a scroll saw to cut that out. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use an air saw, and uh, if you're not familiar with one of these, don't use it because you have to be pretty precise to cut that out. Okay. And then I got a couple files here, and I'll get some sandpaper, and we'll mold it. And I forgot my fucking drill. Son of a bitch. Forgot my fucking drill. I'm gonna go ahead and drill me a hole in my uh, my pickup hole here, and I'm just gonna <coughs> be very light about it. See? <coughs> okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it out, just like this. And we'll go ahead and get our pickup hole first. <coughs> I'm just gonna let you know I'm a human being, okay? I am not a machine. I am not a, uh, a fucking robot, okay? I am making this by hand. So if it doesn't fit 100 fucking percent perfect and you got a beef with it, sit on that motherfucker right there, okay? Do you see what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to fucking show you how to do this, okay? That doesn't mean it's gonna be 100 precisely percent fucking uh, pull it out of your ass, okay? Perfect, all right? but it's gonna look fucking nice. So we're gonna check our pit guard and, okay, it looks like the pickup cover will fit in there, but I have to do a little bit of trimming on it, okay? So that's good, all right? And it looks like uh, the trimming's gonna be up on the top, so that's great. Everything's looking good, so.
Oh, there you go, right there. There it is. Let's uh, see what we got. Let's see what it looks like on our guitar. Of course, I still have to drill these holes right here, okay, for our knobs, but uh, that's what you're looking at right there. I think it looks pretty nice. I think it's going to work. I'm feeling around the edges, and I see that uh, I came way up, so yeah, it's going to work perfect, okay? Yeah. Our bridge is where it needs to be. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to work. We're going to bevel the edges on it. We're going to drill them holes out. We're going to get it all lined up, okay? And it should line up. Do you see that? Do you see why I marked them holes right there? Do you see? Because once you put it on this, okay, we don't know where the fucking holes are. So there it is right there. And then, of course, that's where our pickup will go, which is right here. Okay. And once again, I did cut that a little small. I want to make sure it fits right. But that's going to be an awesome guitar when it's done. It's going to be really, really awesome. i got to clean the edge of that, bevel it out, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how y'all doing out there? We got our uh, pit guard made. Now, I'm going to let you know I'm doing this just like you would do it at home, which is basic little hand tools, uh, sanding blocks, this, that, and the other. Let's look at it. Let's see what we got, and let's see how it came out. Okay, let me get a couple screws on it right here so we can lift it up and we'll look at it and see what we got. I'm not going to screw the screws all the way in. We're just going to look at it. See what we got. And there you go. Okay. Custom pick guard made for our Telecaster style uh, guitar. Okay. Which is called an Esquire. This is an Esquire body style, but it's made by PV. Okay. It's a PV uh, generation, PV generation uh, USA model. Okay. So we're on our way to being almost done with it. Now, if you notice right here, you can see where the pickup goes. I still got to router all that out or chisel it out or whatever I got to do to get that out. I still got to get that done, okay? But on the back of it here, you can see, okay, through the access hole, you can see where I cut the wood out for my switches and everything to fit on, okay? Do you see what I'm trying to tell you there? Okay, we cut that out, okay? But we're still going to have that access panel. And I want to show you this is a universal body. This was actually designed. Uh, the USA models, okay, which is, this is what this is, a USA model. But it's also got the access hole right here if it had active pickups. This is where your 9-volt battery would go. So they use this body on a lot of uh, different guitars because the uh, Generation model series uh, did have active pickups at one time. This did not, but they did. So there's our pick guard we made. Okay, I hope that helped you out. Okay, you saw me do it. You saw how I did it all by myself. Don't go away. We're going to be back on this guitar. We're going to strip it down to bare wood. We're going to get rid of all this polyurethane finish that's on it. And we're going to refinish the guitar. Then we're going to rewire the guitar. We got the P45 here. We got the 17K bridge pickup down here. We're going to wire it in series. That means this is going to be a four-way switch instead of a three-way. Okay, it's going to be in series, and it's going to be this, that, and the other, and it's going to be kick-ass. We'll see you then.